Well, hi there. Welcome to the Good News Show without all the bells and whistles and again without Amen. Pastor Rick. I know. Well, again, this is uh, filming on mm -hmm. Saturday night. Uh, and he does now a worship service, which is so anointed. So even as we pass through the lobby, uh, there were people with flags and uh, banners because they really go all out when it comes to worship here. And so there's probably 30 or 40 people mm -hmm. in the main lobby downstairs, even while we're filming up here. Uh, so he... Uh, is apologizing for not being here with you but we do want to always uh, have you start your week off really good with some good news um, if we look a little windblown um, we were invited out today uh, by a, uh, a couple that is so dear to our heart and Liv tell them where we went today we went to this place in Ridgedale Missouri called Top of the Rock um, if you guys play golf, you would most likely know of this place. They had the um, Legends, golf, Legends tournament. golf Tournament there this year, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and you might also know of it because of the sinkhole. The sinkhole in the, in, in the, in in the golf Missouri, course. In Missouri, which is very unusual. Yes, but... Um, and let me just say, we had uh, lunch, and if you are a golfer, or of course you will know this name, Arnold Palmer. And so we actually had lunch in what they His call barn. Arnie's barn. Now this is actually, my understanding, this is actually his barn. That it's a replica of his a barn. A replica of his barn, um, right down to the, the pegs and everything. But yes. they've made it into a beautiful cool restaurant. restaurant, which overlooks gorgeous. Yes, Table Rock Lake, which, uh, as you know, in Missouri is, is huge. Yep. And then we went underneath all of this is a 35,000 square, square foot, foot museum. museum. It features the Civil War, mm -hmm. the Indian tribes, right? Uh, uh, apparently, the Ozarks is a very uh, important uh, grounds for, for Indians and discoveries and mm -hmm. artifacts. And I have never seen a place so well laid out. Oh my so, gosh, it was gorgeous. Wasn't it? And it was you so know, informative. I, actually took, I took, um photos from almost every single exhibit, so we will actually have some on the yeah, show I sometime. Think, yeah, and maybe we'll let's get some up on the website yes, too, maybe, I will, so definitely. that you can see. Um, first of all, the golf course is beautiful, but then the we museum. We have photos of that too, the, at night and during the day. Yeah, and the museum is beautiful, and, and they, they go back to millions of years ago. The bones that they found as some of the animals that... There, I've never even heard of. There was this one animal, and I hate to say this, but it's called the hell pig. Oh, and it's bigger than a horse. It's bigger than a horse. Oh, it's bigger than a buffalo. It's almost like elephant size, but yep. looks like a warthog. Looks but, like a pig, but elephant yeah, size. Yeah, like a warthog, but it was huge. huge. And then the the only predator. It was eating a rhino when in yeah, the exhibit. That's so, how big it was. And the only predator. And the rhino looked like a little. It was like this big compared to the animal. Yeah, and the only predator to to take it down was called a bear dog, which seemed to be a cross between a bear and a wolf, but it was huge. Yeah. I mean, we saw some freaky stuff, y'all. Um, but it's awesome because I love science really and then the, like all the bones and everything was really yeah. cool. So, and then but the reason why we were invited to Top of the Rock is because I actually well at first I was the only one to get hired to do some photography. So my first wedding, and so we were doing an engagement shoot over there, and yeah. then they hired my mom to plan their wedding. So yes. we were also planning while we were taking photos, and then my dad's also the pastor. So uh, the wedding, pray for so. us because this may be a, a new little side venture, yes. uh, one stop shopping for weddings or, yes. or whatever because obviously we've got the photographer I will do the planning and who better than Pastor Rick to do the uh, ceremony hello and, the, and DJ. the DJ hello and write you a custom wedding song yes. hello. Uh, so yeah if this if this isn't like all one really good deal yes. um, it's it's amazing um, as but you they're also really good friends of ours so yes. it's not like we're just doing this for the wedding and boy you know talk about when two people 
uh, have been joined by God. Um, mm -hmm. I, I will wait till the wedding comes closer to kind of share their story, but let just, you know, it's, it's going to be like tissue warning yeah. kind of stuff. Uh, I just wanted to, I don't know why, but I just wanted to read this one little scripture. I know we don't put a lot in the Good News show, but um, I just felt impressed to, I don't know why I was just looking through here, and, and um, it may speak to somebody out there. Uh, but God asked me if I would share it, so obviously we, we pray and obey, and obedience is near and dear to God's heart, so I'm just going to throw it out there because His Word never comes back void, and this is, I'm believing for someone out there, if this is a little bit of encouragement for you, and then we'll get back to how our, our day went and some other things, but just felt impressed to read this, so... Here we go. And this is actually 2 Corinthians, and this is 14, 16 through 18. So we do not give up. Our physical bodies is becoming older and weaker, but our spirit inside us is made new every day. We have small troubles for a while now, but they are helping us gain an eternal glory that is much greater than the troubles. We set our eyes not on what we see, but on what we cannot see. What we see will last only a short time, but what we cannot see will last forever. So hopefully that ministered to someone at, at a particular time if you're going through a little little trouble now just remember that when we have that faith that grows from faith to faith um, pretty soon all those little troubles all those little worries uh, first of all God doesn't want us to worry and worry really doesn't do anything anyway you've heard Pastor Rick say it's like you know sitting in a rocking chair you can you know rock back and forth rock back and forth but the situation still doesn't change but when you have faith you're gonna get an answer from God whatever the situation might be uh, it might not be when you want it or what you want to hear for example you know we we believe we heard from God to go back to Florida I think however you know that our, that our that plan can change his mind though yeah well I think our plan kinda got involved in it and we just picked a date because we thought oh Pastor Rick's birthday is on the on the sixth, so we'll celebrate on the on the sixth after church, and then Monday's a holiday, so we'll leave on the next day. And, and I think you know we all we all want to be obedient to what God's plan is for our life, and and not what we think the plan should be. Um, we never want to look back and say, you know, God, you know, I hope you bless my plan. Um, after all, his plans never fail, so I think it was more important for us to be obedient. We started getting, like I said last week, we started getting a little check in our, in our spirit going, you know, maybe we're, this, we're putting too much of us in the date. So kind of jokingly, I am borrowing a, a, the verse in the Bible, the beginning of it. So when we return... No man shall know the day or the time. hour. So we're just going to kind of leave it open-ended when we, we feel released here, uh, maybe a while. Uh, but in that, uh, Pastor Rick uh, has now been asked by the ministry to help a little more than, than the Wednesday night Bible study mm -hmm. and the Saturday worship and, of course, Sunday morning. Um, they've now asked him to be uh, the keyboard player in the band for the show that they film. So he just started uh, yesterday, Friday, yeah. and uh, obviously was, was quite nervous, uh, but he did really well. And by the time you're watching this, will be Sunday um, and Monday, so please keep him in prayer. Monday, as I mentioned, he's having his cataract um, removed from his left eye. That will be Monday morning, so uh, our time, uh, we have to be at the hospital around 8, so if you could just kind of keep praying so that's, any I time think around 9. So Florida time? Yep, yeah, around 9 o'clock. So if you could just kind of keep him in prayer for that, um, that would be awesome. And I guess now, if you tune in in the future, 
uh, to the JimBakerShow.com. Liv's yawning here. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, if you tune into the JimBakerShow.com, you might see, uh, if they pan over, you might see the band, and you'll see Pastor Rick. They are all in front yes. playing the keyboards. And who knew, um, a B3 organ, which is what he originally played when he was in the band when when he and I first met. That, oh, wow, that was a long time a, ago. Yes, and I can He told me it was one of his first instruments it, to learn how to it play. It was. That was that was what he did when I first met him. Um, he was even doing that before he actually became the lead singer. He would sing right at the organ, and I would sit. He'd always put a chair just off stage right behind the organ bench, and that's where I would sit. And, oh, gosh, I can... And it was white. He painted it white, and I can remember, you know, I, I would roll the white paint and touch it up, you know, because... It would get scuffed up in the truck and everything. Anyway, so that's kind of cool. So that's bringing yeah. him back to his roots. So anyway, we had um, a wonderful, wonderful time. And, and as you can tell, a very eventful day because I've been yawning like crazy. Yes, yes. So uh, we're not going to keep her up any longer because it's now getting a little bit late. Uh, but we did want to just you know let you know that we're we're still here. Um, obviously, they're, they're selling a lot of condos. As I said last time, that we sold our condo, and they've been selling more and more here. So it's just... Which is putting me out of a job very slowly. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. Well, we'll see how that goes. But uh, a lot's been going on here, so uh, we're just, we're just kind of packing slowly. We, a little bit, if you could see on the other side of the studio, we have banana boxes stacked to the ceiling. Yes. So a little bit each time is packing, because obviously, again, we are now downsizing. So remember, we were in a 4,000-square-foot home to a 1,000-square-foot condo. Now we're going to a 900-square-foot condo. Uh, pretty soon we're going to be living in a banana box. No, yeah. I'm just, I'm just no, kidding. No, literally. literally. Yeah. I'm pretty but, sure we will be. Yeah. But <laughs> anyway, anyway, so we're, we'll keep filming as... as uh, as events happen just to kind of keep you updated I feel like this is like our video you know diary. chat to our it's friends a diary. yeah we're journaling with you on on everything that's going on what we'd really like is email us what you're doing um, we'd love to hear any any praises anything that God's doing because then we can read them on the show I mean even though I don't have my segments up anymore mm -hmm. you know I would still love to hear what God's doing in your life I mean let's spread the good news I mean it's not just us having good news I'm sure uh, so send us some good news items. I have one more good news for me at least okay we're gonna be going to Silver Dollar City soon well we just heard that uh, some friends might uh, might want to take yes. us to Silk. That's yes. in case you don't know. It's kind of like a, it's like a Disney, but more roller well, coasters. Well, no, it's more like a uh, Six Flags kind yeah, of place. Yeah, but here in Branson. Yeah. So uh, and I have, she'll be going on the roller coasters. I'll be watching. I have been wanting to go to Silver Dollar since the, City since we came here on vacation, so, like a little more than two years two, ago. Two and a half years ago. Yeah. And um, we had tickets, but. They expired right when we moved here, mm -hmm. so we never got to go. Mm -hmm. And now I am very happy because we get to go. Yes. And I'm gonna and have so much again, fun. And again, for that we don't know the day or the hour either. But exactly, but hey, we are going. But we have faith that we will go. Uh, anyway, we love you. We appreciate you. But I'm serious about sending us the good news because I would love to be able yes. to read those on the show. Um, and as you know, with Pastor Rick's schedule now getting crazy and crazy, um, we probably will um, start incorporating a little bit of a Bible study in with the good news show. Uh, and you may, and you, been, you may just see Liv and I for, yeah. for a little bit. Hopefully next weekend uh, is a little more quieter, so Pastor Rick will be here with us. But uh, we may just do a little bit uh, longer good news show and just kind of do it all in one because it seems like, especially in the summer, everyone's busy. Um, we haven't seen a lot of people uh, visiting the, the Bible study, um, but thank you. You are watching the good news show, yes. so we, we thought maybe we could kind of merge them together a little bit. Um, but do send us the good news segments. We'd love to hear from you, and we appreciate you so, so much. Um, all your prayers and your support. I mean, seriously, we would not, I know I say it every week, but we're here every week and you're there every week praying for us and, and even the financial support, we just would not be here without you. We wouldn't 
be able to do any of this exactly. without you. Liv, you want to add anything before you go to sleep? Because she's yawning over here like crazy. Uh, <laughs> sorry, yawning. Um, just thank you guys a lot. It means a lot for our whole family. So, And yes. I guess we're going to call that a wrap. And remember, there is good in the world, so be, be the good. Bye-bye.